Stan Gibalisco here. I have heard uh, some stories, and uh, perhaps you've heard them as well, about the reason why uh, in single sideband operation, the upper sideband is commonly used at the 10 megahertz uh, ham radio bands and above, whereas the lower sideband, now this is voice mode only, uh, not PSK or radio teletype or any other uh, use of the sideband mode in a transceiver. This is voice single sideband, 10 megahertz bands and above. It's uh, customary to use the upper sideband, <clears throat> but by no means is it the law. Whereas below about 9 megahertz uh, on the bands below about 9 megahertz, it's common to use the lower sideband. That's the custom, but not the law. And I've heard stories to the effect that it had something to do with the original design of a single sideband superheterodyne radio transmitter. Uh, but I never have really heard the exact details. So if you have, or if you can refer our viewers to an article or uh, other source of information that will definitively uh, give some history about this, uh, I'd appreciate it. I'm going to conduct some research of my own and see if I can find anything definitive. But meanwhile, I'll just give you an example of how uh, the principle might have arisen. Uh, some people call it an urban legend uh, as to the, the fact that or the fact or lack thereof that that this is how it actually evolved but this mathematical principle is in fact valid some people said that it isn't but it depends on how you mix the signals what we have here in this diagram is pretty clear an upper side band signal at a frequency of 9 megahertz, just for a hypothetical. A local oscillator at 12 megahertz. And uh, now these are not necessarily the frequencies that were used uh, in the historical equipment, if, if such is in fact the history. But this is just an example as to show you what can happen. When you mix a signal with another signal, you can do it either in, in either of two ways. You can get a sum of the two frequencies, or you can get a difference of the two frequencies. In fact, uh, in double sideband AM modulation, you can model that uh, as an actual mixing of the audio with the carrier wave, thereby getting an upper side band that is the sum of the audio input plus the carrier wave uh, frequency and the difference is the lower side band the difference between the audio and the carrier frequency the audio components add to the carrier frequency to give you the upper side band and subtract from the carrier frequency to give you the lower side band. That happens whenever you mix two signals, whatever type they are, carrier waves, radio teletype, any kind of signal, even frequency modulated signals. If you mix two signals together, say 12 and 9 megahertz, you will get mixing products at the sum and the difference frequencies. And in this case, the sum signal is 12 megahertz plus 9 megahertz or 21 megahertz and the different signal is 12 megahertz minus 9 megahertz or 3 megahertz however the important thing is that if you mix signals in both ways and so that you can take either output if you simply mix them and then you select either output, there's no selective circuitry at all here in the output, then if you get, if you add the frequencies, you will get an upper sideband signal when you put an upper sideband signal into the input, say single sideband, upper sideband mode. That's because as the frequencies 
uh, components increase, then the frequency components of the sum signal will also increase. Say 9.003 megahertz will mix with 12 megahertz to give you 21.003 megahertz. But 8.997 megahertz will mix with 12 megahertz to give you 20.997 megahertz. 300 hertz above or 300 hertz below. Never mind that you might you would be out of the band if you did that in real life. This is just a hypothetical. You're doing all this into a dummy load, so you aren't going to get into any trouble. So the green output here is right side up. It's upper side band if you put an upper side band signal in and it's lower side band if you were to put a lower side band signal in. However, if you take the different signal, you will invert the uh, frequency components. An upper side band voice signal here will give you a lower side band voice signal here and vice versa. And just to show you an example again, 9 megahertz will subtract from 12 megahertz to give you 3 megahertz at the carrier or suppressed carrier frequency. But 9.003 megahertz will subtract from 12 megahertz to give you 8.997 megahertz, which is below, or pardon me, 2.997 uh, uh, megahertz, which is 300 hertz below, not above, the suppressed carrier frequency. And similarly, if you take 8.997 megahertz and subtract it from 12 megahertz, you will end up with 3.003 .003 megahertz. So as the frequency of this 9 megahertz signal or the frequency component decreases, the difference between 12 megahertz and that will increase and vice versa. So your green output signal, the sum signal, is right side up, whereas your red signal, the different signal, is upside down. That principle will operate in any single sideband mixer that can take either the sum or the difference as the output. Uh, these again are just hypotheticals for frequency. But I've heard that the convention of using upper side band on the bands higher than 9 megahertz and lower side band on the bands lower than 9 megahertz uh, has something to do with this principle but I don't know the exact facts. If you do know them, or especially if you can lead us to a source of information, a QST article, archive maybe would be a good place to start. <coughs> That's where I intend to start. Uh, then uh, please leave a comment to that effect, referencing an article that definitively describes the history of all this, because I have a feeling there's something to it. Uh, that it's more than just an urban or suburban or country bumpkin mountain man legend. But I don't know. I honestly don't know. I do know, though, how to add and subtract numbers, and this is what will happen in a scenario like this. Stan Gibalisco, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations, saying 73, which means best regards, and so long, which in USB or LSB can mean goodbye, das Vedanya, sayonara, vaya con Dios or whatever. But of course I only use CW so it always means da 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 da.